Question 1. Write the ground state electron configuration for a neutral atom of sulfur. To determine the ground state electron configuration of sulfur, which has an atomic number of 16, we first note that it contains 16 electrons. Next, we determine the principal quantum number n for its valence subshell. If we look at the periodic table, we see it has a principal quantum number of 3. Next, we determine its angular momentum quantum number L. We can see two electrons occupy the 3s subshell, therefore four remaining electrons must occupy the 3p subshell. So the valence subshell is 3p4, and we simply fill in the other subshells before this one. So the full electron configuration for sulfur is 1s2, 2s2, 2p6, 3s2, 3p4. Using the noble gas shorthand notation, this configuration can also be expressed as neon 3s2, 3p4. Question 2. Provide the ground state electron configuration for chlorine and identify the quantum numbers, so that's n, l, m sub l, and m sub s, of the electrons in the valence subshell. To determine the ground state electron configuration for chlorine, which has 17 electrons, we repeat the same process. First, we determine that chlorine's valence shell has a principal quantum number of 3, and at this energy level there are 7 electrons. These electrons fill the 3s subshell with 2 electrons, and the 3p subshell with 5. So the valence subshell is 3p5. Therefore, the electron configuration for chlorine is 1s2, 2s2, 2p6, 3s2, 3p5, or using the noble gas notation, it's neon 3s2, 3p5. Next, we determine the quantum numbers of the valence subshell, which we know is 3p5. So we already know the principal quantum number is 3. We know the angular momentum number is p, or 1. The magnetic quantum number, m sub l, can be negative 1, 0, or 1. So this shows that each orientation of the p orbital has at least one electron occupying it. And lastly, each electron in these orientations has a spin quantum number of either positive one half or negative one half. And this gives the possible quantum numbers for 3p5 as follows. Question three, what is the electron configuration of sodium plus? Sodium in its ionized state contains 10 electrons. This ion has a plus one charge, indicating the loss of one electron from the neutral sodium atom. So consequently, the electron configuration reverts to that of the noble gas configuration of neon. Therefore, the electron configuration for sodium plus is 1s2, 2s2, 2p6, or just neon. Question four, which electron configuration is correct for titanium? The correct answer is C. So let's explain this. A is missing an electron in the 3D subshell. B is filling the subshells in the wrong order. Remember the Aufbau principle. C is correct, and D has too many electrons in the 3P subshell. Question five. What are the electron configurations for each atom below? For oxygen, its electron configuration is 1s2, 2s2, 2p4. For magnesium 2 plus, remembering it has two electrons taken away because of the 2 plus charge, its electron configuration is 1s2, 2s2, 2p6, or simply just neon. For zinc, it's 1s2, 2s2, 2p6, 3s2, 3p6, 4s2, 3d10 or argon 4s2 3d10 remember the Aufbau principle here for sodium chloride we have an aq symbol which means this molecule is in water 
and we know that if sodium chloride is in water it would dissociate. So we have two ions, sodium with a plus one charge and chlorine with a negative charge. Therefore for sodium plus we have the electron configuration 1s2, 2s2, 2p6 or neon and for chlorine with a negative charge we have 1s2, 2s2, 2p6, 3s2 and 3p6 or argon. Question 6. Which orbital diagrams are incorrect and why? The first and second orbital diagrams are incorrect. The first diagram is not filling the unoccupied orbitals before pairing and this violates Hund's rule. The second diagram is showing that the 2s subshell has two electrons of the same spin and this violates the Pauli exclusion principle. And the third diagram is correct. So that's about it for this video. If you have any feedback, please feel free to leave a comment. Thank you for watching. Until next time.